it is time now on this Friday morning to get a sneak peek of some of the movies you can expect to see at the weekend box office. Here to talk all about that and of course give his two cents is James Molnar from the Toledo Free Press. Thank you Good so morning. much for joining us. We missed you last weekend and uh, so I need to get caught up on all my movies because you weren't here last Friday. So yes. we're back in action. Well, if, we, if we're going to catch up, first I think the biggest movie to talk about right now is of course the cover of this week's Toledo Free Press star is Spider-Man. Yeah, broke and a lot of records. It is breaking a lot of records and it's probably one of my favorite movies of the year. It's Did you really see it on good. Tuesday? I, I saw it actually a week before Tuesday and I've had to kind of sit still until the movie came out to tell everyone that it is a really good movie. Awesome. And the great thing about it is, you know, the last Spider-Man movie came out 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, is it, you know, how do you compete with that? Right. Well, it kind of blows your memory out and you forget who Tobey Maguire is and Andrew Garfield from The Social Network just shines in this um, what about in this, Emma Stone? in this new make and Emma Stone you know what she's really good too they have great chemistry as you know off screen they're also dating so yeah that I heard that of, that does help and also Uncle Ben and Aunt May now played by Martin Sheen and Sally Field are really they do a really you said good Sally job. Field Sally Field what? I mean, most people don't nice. know that she's in this movie and she does really well um, also in this movie and it's heartwarming to see right, um, great. there are a few things missing from this one um, uh, like I said, Emma Stone is here, so there's no Mary Jane. It's it's uh, George, uh, uh, it's it's um, Gwen Stacy, Gwen and then Stacey. there's no Green Goblin. It's actually a big lizard walking around, and it's actually really well hmm. done visually. But it doesn't take away from the overall classic, you know. No, you of still the have those classic. Line. You still have those classic elements. There's still a teenager bitten by a radioactive spider, and then okay. he flies through the air. Because I think some people may anticipate cha a lot of changes, though. So there's change, but it still does. It still sticks to it the makes basic it a better story. Movie. Okay. The change, I think, uh, makes it a better movie, and the visuals ten years ago can't compare. All right, awesome. Okay, we need to move on really quick. Savage. Savages is uh, Oliver Stone's new movie uh, coming out about uh, the drug war in Mexico. Okay. And it's not getting that great reviews, but I would say if you're an Oliver Stone fan, you probably know exactly what to expect. All right, maybe a little bit more low key if you're not trying to see so much action packed. And now this is a, this is a good movie right now to go see if you're a movie, uh, music buff, I should say, with uh, for Katy Perry. Yes, I know that uh, as you and Abby were talking about mm -hmm. this morning, if you like her music, you're gonna like this movie. One of my friends went and saw it and I asked him, I said, how, what did you think of it? And he said, you know what, it's a good concert 3D movie. Oh, you it's learn, in 3D? Yes, and you, uh, you'll you learn how Katy Perry loves her fans, how dedicated she is. Um, and She gets personal too, I hear, talking yes. about, you know, her recent divorce with Russell Brand and, yeah, and opening up to her really fans. Yeah, it's a really personal documentary and it's a good behind the scenes look and it's actually rated higher on Rotten Tomatoes than Spider-Man. Which really? makes me intrigued. Well, maybe this is a movie I want to see. Huh. I'm still waiting for DVD. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, so many more uh, at the box office, but we don't have time to talk about all of them. But of course, don't forget to come back next Friday with your uh, movie uh, reviews from this weekend. We really appreciate you stopping by. And you can morning. always check out ToledoFreePress.com slash movies. And I just want to get this in real quick. Abraham Lincoln, I, took, I made oh, the yeah. sacrifice for you. I went and saw it. It is as awful as we thought it would be. Yes! So two out of five. I'm stars. sorry, not, not to get so good. excited, but I really had low hopes it, for that film, and I that just makes me feel so much better. Movie. All yes. right, James Molnar <laughs> from the Toledo Free Press. Thank you so much for joining us.